This is my minimalist and distraction-free text editor. It is also the way I am connecting to the Cardano network. To create a new wallet, you use the comma new wallet files and give it a name first, for example. And at the bottom of the screen, you see that the first wallet is created. Let's do that again for the wallet second and for the wallet third. Now that you have some wallets, let's have a look at them. I can select multiple wallets. The balances view is not spreadsheet like. Its main goal is to show you every address and which UTXOs sit at that address. That is why it is so verbose and has a tree like structure. To spend transaction outputs, you need to create a new transaction. Cardano TX New helps you with that. This is the biggest advantage to the command line. Templates provide context and copy pasting becomes easy when you want to repeat an action or behavior. Also, because you are in your text editor, you have text completion. The inputs of a transaction are your unspent transaction outputs. You can fill them up with help of your text editor by selecting one or more of your, your available transaction outputs. They will get inserted in your transaction template. The commented block is for when you want to spend out of script addresses. That will be for another tutorial. To configure the output, you select the target address. Again, a completion function helps you in this task. Let's select the second address. It will get auto-completed and a comment at the end reminds you to which wallet it belongs. Then you select the amount to be sent. Let's say 50 ADA, 50 million lovelace. Because it is easy, let's make another output at the same time. Just copy paste and select a new address, maybe the third wallet. And let's add a bit more, 70 ADA. If you try to submit this transaction, you will be prevented. And the message at the bottom tells you, you missed the change address. So let's create that. Copy one more time this field, select the first address, and in this case, let's activate the flag change true to signal this is the change address. Now let's send the transaction. When you submit the transaction, everything clears and the transaction ID is conveniently copied to your clipboard. So you can use the explorer to find this transaction. And there it is. We see this multiple input, multiple output transaction. This is a much better than using the command line interface. Instead of working at the instruction level, you declaratively specify your transaction. It is easy to work with big transactions, multi-input, multi-output, without getting lost 